So where do you find the source for the research problem? Through any practical experience? And uh, that's what, when you are treating the patient in the clinics. Uh, so if you get a doubt, why? Uh, my senior did not give this particular modality. Why did this particular uh, concept is not used for treating this? In the book, it has been advocated like this. So if you get something, then that is practical experience, then any previous uh, research, then any existing theories, then any social issues, like any current social issues. If you want to address current social issues, those things, then brainst any brainstorming session, with your lecturers or with your seniors on that. Then uh, your own intuition, then folklore. That is any belief or myths you want to uh, evaluate. So how your research problem must be? Good research problem must be in a finer way. So the final, let me explain, it, it must be feasible. The If you your research, if you did not check for the feasibility, even though your research is novel and interesting, it will not really work out. So you have to check out for the feasibility. Feasibility in the sense, adequate number of subjects, that is your sample size, adequate technical expertise to support you, then affordable with time and money within a limited time frame you need to finish out, and the money. You, you, you can seek for any sponsorship, like that and manageable in scope it should be in the scope okay scope of your profession then interesting so getting the answer which introduces that which fantasize the investigator peers and the community your research must be in the interesting way uh, you can use any uh, you can take any uh, uh, recent problems faced by the society on that and it must be novel so you confirm, refute, or uh, extend the previous findings. It could be of these three things. Then ethical, the main thing. So they're amenable to a study that institutional review board will approve. So you, if you're taking even animals or the human, you need to check out for the uh, ethical norms. Then it must be uh, relevant. It should be relevant to the scientific knowledge the clinical and health policy to future research. So you are just putting your time, your money, and your effort to do some research. So definitely, this must um, benefit someone, uh, mainly the society or the future researchers, at least. All right. There. So this is how you form the good research problem, the final way. Then you evaluate. So how do you evaluate? So once you have formed it grossly, then you evaluate, does the problem have significance to the profession? OK. Then does the problem spell out the purpose of conducting the study? So for right answering the purpose of conducting the study, you need to do a literature review more. And you find the research gap. You need you you should have some valid point to do the research. OK. Uh, does the problem have any relationship with existing theories and models? So if you take a, a neuropediatrics and all, you'll have multiple theories. OK. So if you take a theory, suppose simply if you take a, any theories like uh, MRP, all that, so it keep on evaluating. OK. So uh, it's, suppose it starts from 1970s, so till date, we are not reading the same thing which was done in the 1970s. It keeps on evaluating. So those kind of theories, uh, if you are contributing to any of such kind, that needs to be addressed. Then does the problem flow from any prior scientific information, experience in topic area? Suppose um, usually I'm in the when you write the thesis or any uh, script, the write a future recommendation or limitation of the study. So you can take those things and you can modify that and you can do the research. Then does the problem identify the nature of the population which is to be studied? So the selection of the population, then type of design you choose, then the research setting, place, time, 
and does the research problem require the use of any human subjects if so then you need to clearly find out is there any potential risk for those human subjects that is the ethical issues needs to be addressed uh, if there is any potential issues then how we are going to handle that okay so that you need to be prepared then is the research able to manage man money material and appropriate permissions from authorities all that uh then does the problem comprise appropriate phrases whether it is phrased appropriately okay so uh suppose if you uh, want to do a um study on prisoners okay so just like that you cannot form the problem you get the ethical clearance and when you start to do the study you cannot go and approach the authorities so in those case in those case you need to take the permission at the uh conceptual phase itself when you have planned to do the study in that particular population you need to take the prior permission then you need to proceed finally it should be in a picot form so you must be aware of this yes so picot is when you write the final topic the population or uh, problem needs to be clearly addressed what intervention you are giving and whether you are comparing the intervention or not then outcome measure then time frame or type of the study so this all needs to be mentioned clearly in your topic so if i read your topic so it should be clear it should be very much clear by reading the topic itself i must understand what is the dependent and independent variable uh, then what to which population she is giving the treatment whether she is comparing the treatment with any other thing or not any other treatment or not so all that so all that by looking in the topic itself i must understand what is the research design it's a comparative study or it's a single blinded randomized control study so what what is the research design so by just reading that topic itself i must come to know about all this so the final topic after evaluating the final topic must be in the pick out format so when you select the research problem you must be cautious enough when the subject which is overdone already there are plenty of literature in that so uh, it's better not to take that unless or until you find any uh, peculiar research gap then any controversial subject if you are um basic researcher then you need to aware of these things if you too narrow or too vague problem should be avoided